I'm going to try and scale a business from zero to a million dollars in 90 days. I've been working for fucking 14 hours today. I'm working, I'm busy, I don't have time to do this shit. Just to fill you guys in on like what I'm actually doing. So it's a, uh, what? Oh no. I've run into some issues where the marketing is not converting like I thought it would. We're making some money, but it's not as much as I thought it would be. I'm not saying it's not possible, but the chances are getting like slimmer and slimmer every day. And that's what's making this thing tough. So we have done about $279 in revenue. I'm making some sales. <sighs> The issue with that, it's not fast enough. I really thought I would be like 10 grand smooth sailing by now. 15 days, two weeks, almost over two weeks. And I'm still not there. So it's fucking hard when your marketing doesn't work. It's hard when I can't really be Renee and just make a couple of calls. Just fucking do a shout out on my story. Go buy this thing. It sucks, man. I haven't really been able to find that pocket where it just goes, where a business booms. I've been working for fucking 14 hours today. Tired as shit. Julian left me. I'm by myself. I have $300 to show for it. Some of you guys might be like, that's great. But to me, that's not great. As I like to say, when things get bad, when things are not looking good, you have to get creative. It's not a resource problem. It's a resourcefulness problem. So the first thing I did, I went to the drawing board and I started thinking about some marketing angles. And this is what I came up with. We can use this for musician, entrepreneurs, Athletes, we can use this for a hot girl, college students, anything you can think of, any niche. I just wrote down a bunch of niches that we could potentially use the product for. Kind of what I've been doing all day, I've been creative brainstorming. I've been really thinking about ways to find a marketing angle that's gonna work. It's tough, man. On top of that, and running my other business, because I can't take a break on anything between my main business, my side projects, my personal band, AKA content for you guys, this 90 day thing, I feel like I'm losing my mind. So I haven't vlogged today, it's day 16. This daily vlog shit is hard, man. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm working, I'm busy, I don't have time to do this shit. So day 16, this is all you get, I'm sorry. It is what it is, I'm tired, and I need to make this business happen. I feel fucking amazing today. I hate this entire challenge because you have fucking mood swings, dude. You go up and down. But the more I thought about it, that's the nature of entrepreneurship. You go up and down because all businesses are front loaded. If you guys don't know what that means, front loaded means you are building something that has no results in the beginning and then you have a cascading result at the end. So a great example, a great analogy, I guess, would be a snowball. Snowballs, when you're rolling them up the hill, they're really tiny and they kind of like go and like they're moving slow. Slowly. And then as you push up this hill, like a snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger until you hit a tipping point where you push the snowball off and it just goes down. And that's literally what business are. They're all front loaded. So you push a snowball up a hill until it gets big and then eventually it hits a point where it just starts falling down super, super, super fast. Same goes for business. It's day 17. First 12 days, we saw barely any money as of I wanna say day 15, 16, 17, we're starting to see money come out from all the front loading we did, from all the business building we did. We're starting to see those returns so that money is starting to go through. On top of that, I'm building a proposal for a new client for my agency and I'm so excited. I haven't been this excited about a client in a very, very long time. So I hope they like us because they are an incredible company. We can take them to millions, tens of millions within the next year or two. So there's a lot on my plate right now, but it's a great fucking feeling. Day 17. It's about the journey, let's go. Just to fill you guys in on like what I'm actually doing. A business is not as easy as just setting up ad campaigns. First uh, two weeks, we built the website, we set up the ad campaigns, we made the commercials, we got them up and running. If it was that easy, more people would do it. Like building a business, a genuine business, a real business that can make money and scale really fast. You have to be a real business. You have to do all the things that real businesses do. So like I said, we sent out the product to a lot of influencers. They should be getting it today or within the next day. The strategy is to have them post the content for us. That's why we didn't aim for like big, massive influencers that are gonna charge us a lot of money. We're aiming for like smaller people, regular everyday people that would love to share the products they use, the products they like. Because here's the thing, when you send people products, they become your marketing for you. And it costs you less than an ad. Let's say an ad costs you, I don't know, 10 bucks to hit a thousand people. That's way cheaper than paying for the ad itself. And, and if it comes from someone someone trusts, they're more likely to buy. So what we're doing is we're creating an army of people that are marketing for you. And if they love your product, they're gonna share it no matter what. So like I said, it goes down to having a good product, obviously. But more than that, you have to really 
do everything you can. It's more than building ads on Facebook. You have to have an entire marketing strategy and get dirty and get your hands dirty. And that's what we're doing right now. So I'm building another influencer list. I'm gonna reach out to more influencers. I'm gonna do everything I can. Even though the ads are running, even though the business is running, even though we're already starting to generate sales, I want to fucking crush this and hammer it. So that's what we're gonna do. Break rules, never make up. She act up, I replace her.